Hello everyone, my name is Paddy, we're here 2019 at Puck Fair. Uh, over the next few days we're going to interview people here at the festival to see how they're getting on. The weather isn't so good, but hopefully we'll get plenty of colour and interesting people. Well, we've met a few men here now from West Limerick, and they've come all the way to Puck Fair to... Are you selling or buying? Well, I'm just here to have a look around. Have a look around. And what do you think so far? I think it's good, it's good, it's good. Do you come every year? I come every year since I was young fella. And what's the attraction to...? Uh, the attraction was there always, whatever it was. I'm coming here since I was about six. Go away. And have you seen a lot of changes now since I you were six years old? Desperate changes. It was in the street that I'm the fair was. And to see everyone. So uh, that horse was in the street that time, and he's where the, um, we'll say, probably stalls are now up, mm. up in the street. Desperate changes since. Okay, okay. It was all working horses that time, and a lot of people bought horses. My father used to buy horses oh. for. And he used to sell horses, you know, by colts that time. But there's still a bit of magic, just the same all the time. Ah, the magic is there, it is grand, it is nice. It's yes. lovely, it's lovely to walk around and look at horses. And the gentleman now you're with, what are they, what are, are they buying or selling? This man is selling, he's an ever man. Oh, he's selling. Yeah, um, he's selling. He's th could you describe now the horse that he's selling there now? Tell us, because I don't know a whole lot about uh, horses. True uh, bread Connemara he's selling now. True bread Connemara. A true, a true, I thought a Connemara pony now was a small little thing no, oh, that you'd see around the garden. No, oh, that's a Connemara now, that's a Connemara. And what would you what would you use him for? I should uh, break him and and for jumping and you know for uh, lovely girls riding pony now you know. Very good. Uh, they, they, they don't grow too big mm. and their temperament they're quite you know. Lovely. So are you around for the next few days? So I'll you are. I'll be around for today and tomorrow. Okay. Well, I hope I hope you sell. I hope you're successful. With Bernie Casey. Hello, Bernie. How's it going? Very good. How's the trade like today? That's uh, tough. Very tough. tough. Yeah. What's your name? Myra. Myra what? Danny. Danny. Are you, where are you from, tell them? Muckress. You're from Muckress? And you come all the way to Clogan for the horse fair. Why do you like the horse fair, tell me? Because I like ponies. Oh, and is Daddy going to buy is Daddy oh, going, gonna buy Is Daddy pony. going to buy a pony? We can't buy any pony for today. We've no hitch to carry home the pony. Oh, yeah, we'll get a pony another day, Myra. <laughs> we'll have, we have two local men here that are experts on the horse trade. They're going to tell us something about how things are going today. Your name is? David Curtin. David Curtin. David, what's the trade like? The trade is poor. I heard very, that. Very poor and the weather is against it as well. Yeah. It's hard to travel around and the horses are away back to the end. They're gone scarce. The, the, good, the good horses are gone scarce. Ah, that's like good people. They get scarce too. Yeah. So tell me, are you buying or selling here buying, today at the fair? Buy, buying a few. Buying a few what? Yeah. Riding cups. Okay. Yeah. And the trade is what like? The trade is slack. Cool. Slack? Yeah, not good now today. Why so? Had a bad trolley, yeah. I think the, the, the bad weather is making a bad job out now as well. Uh, there's, there's, I suppose. There's a, and will you stay around now for the three days? Uh, we will, we will, yeah. We'll stay till Monday. And what will you do when all the horses are sold? Well, we usually take a couple of pints. Okay, yeah. okay. You, just up a few town, now. Uptown. Yeah, uptown, yeah. So we have one local lady. Your name yeah. is? I'm Anne Brosnan. From? Milltown. Ah, that's yeah. as local as you'll get? Yeah, that's as local as you get, yes. And the ladies with you, who are These they from? My two sister-in-laws from Birmingham. Oh, very yeah, good. Sheila and Joan. And what, att what attracts you now to come to Puck Fair to me? Uh, they're looking for um, a maybe a likely fella. Is that it? Yeah, it could be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 excuse me now. So what are you going to do now for the rest of the festival well, besides looking at horses and men? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the horse fair, tell me. Well, I don't know. I like I like to see nice horses and so you can maybe buy some. And would you like if your dad bought your horse? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What kind of a horse would he buy, you know? Maybe a Connemara Stallion. Dad, have you enough money to buy a Connemara Stallion? I'd have to go back at home and look at Paddy. We're going to talk to uh, two representatives of the Puck Fair's nominated charity for 2019. That's the Kerry Hospice. Uh, Kay Malone is uh, going to just give us a few words here on the, the work they do and the response they're hoping to get. Kay. Hi, um, Kerry Hospice have been the nominated charity. We're here to try to fill the bulk tank and uh, everybody in Kerry uh, either knows somebody or themselves have used the hospice, the new palliative care unit, which is in Tralee General. Hi, my name's Michelle Jones and I'm treasurer with Calorgan Hospice Branch. Um, I got involved specifically because of previous experience with hospices where family members have gone through the hospice up in Dublin and when I came to Kerry I was shocked to realise that we didn't actually have a specialist hospice unit in Kerry. Now I can happily say we do. Um, our new 15 bed part of Kerry unit is now open in Tralee General Hospital. 
This is down to the fabulous work done by Ted Moynihan and his campaign of fundraising through the years. All the money has been raised by the people of Kerry for Kerry Hospice. I think when you've gone through the hospice system and seen the care, attention and support that families and the patients are given, you really get a full appreciation of the work they do. I'd like to thank the Puck Fair Committee for nominating Kerry Hospice as their chosen charity this year. Please watch out for our volunteers who'll be around town either wearing blue jackets or um, our high vis vests and they'll have the bulk tank with them. If you don't get to the horse fair, we'll still be collecting up at the Bianconi Corner and at the concerts for the next two nights.